Hello, uh, my name is Barbara. We are the Creative Mornings. Um, as you might know or not know, Creative Mornings is a platform where we uh, explore all sorts of different faces of creativity. Uh, Creative Mornings started in New York, uh, 2008, and from that point it uh, spread all around the world. Uh, it reached Helsinki, and uh, the Helsinki chapter uh, exists from 2014. Uh, so we will have our birthday soon, in August. It will be a big event, and please come and be louder than today. <laughs> um, this whole uh, circus of Creative morning, Mornings is uh, volunteer-based, so everything is happening with, with the help of our volunteers and partners. We have uh, big partners, small partners, global partners, local partners. Our um, international partners are this MailChimp, Shutterchock, Shuttershock and Wix. And then uh, we are... Uh, in this space with the courtesy of the Design Club, who are a bunch of very cool people that uh, work in uh, this design museum and organize all sorts of super cool events <coughs> that you can check uh, on the internet. Uh, also, our partners are Pixel, this little green thingy that you, you will all get a chance to touch if you ask our speakers a question. It's called the Catchbox. And uh, Star Offset is a um, uh, family-owned printing company and they help us with all uh, printing matters. Then uh, the thinking potion that you have not obviously drank so much this morning <laughs> comes from uh, Johan and Nystrom. Uh, the tea comes from Tehuone and the, all the lovely buns and cinnamons and, and uh, cookies and stuff comes from uh, this lovely lady who came to Helsinki all the way from Turkey and started off as a designer but then evolved to a baker and a food blogger and now she's here making our lives better and all these, uh, all these partners one thing that they all have in common is that the work they do is a passion and a lifestyle and not a job. And we are very proud that they chose us and that uh, they keep, keep on coming back and working with us. Also, as I mentioned, the volunteers, please raise your hands so that people can see you. Yes, so all of these partnerships are connected by the hands and minds of these little guys. And uh, if you take some uh, cool photo and want to post it online, these are the hashtags. And today, before our uh, uh, main speakers begin, we will ha uh, have a 60 second pitch from, and then after that we will have the, the talk <laughs> from, my, hey, I don't do this often, you know, this is, my, this is my second time doing this and I have a stage fright, so. I didn't want to bother you with my problems. <laughs> um, after Alexei finishes his 60 minute, the 60 second pitch, uh, <laughs> will come our speakers with their 20 minute speech and then we will have 15 minutes of questions and answers and enter Winter Solstice Festival. Ta -da, ta -da. Thank you. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I need to get a, change this to YouTube. Mitä sulle tulee mieleen talvesta? Mitä jos keskelle talven kylmyyttä tuotaisiin kahden päivän ajaksi lämpöä? Mitä jos järjestettäisiin yhdessä kaikkein pimeimpään aikaan valovoimainen festivaali meille kaikille? Ja mitä jos sen ohjelmistossa olisi Suomen musiikkihistorian merkittävimpiä ja kiinnostavimpia artisteja vuosien varrelta? Me halutaan tehdä tästä totta ja tarvitaan sun apuasi.
Yeah, so we're organizing a brand new winter festival concept in Helsinki in December, 1st and 2nd, and we're having a crowdfunding campaign open now in mesenaatti.me. Uh, we uh, published some more artists on Wednesday that were not mentioned on the video. We have special concerts coming from Kotiteallisuus and Rajaton, for example. Please go and fund if you feel like it. And <laughs> <laughs> later you can come ask if you have any questions. Thank you. So every month a uh, different chapter uses a uh, different chapter chooses a theme of the month. This theme this month the theme is beyond. And in the context of this theme our speakers will be Sara and Marco. And welcome and tell us more. So, um, hello and welcome here. Um, I am Sara, Sara Salmi, and uh, this is Marco <laughs> Melander, my husband, and together we are this atelier Ohapala. And um, we're going to tell you about our project, this Atelier Ohapala project, and um, something about how, how portraiture kind of went beyond just taking portraits. Yeah, so we're going to start with the funeral. The so this is our funeral picture. This is us um, playing dead in a Victorian style portrait that we made. Yeah, we decided to quit our project last year, last summer, after eight years doing it like, like crazy. And these are our role figures um, in a Victorian outfit, like a post-mortem um, um, image. Yeah, like it was, uh, it was a custom at that time in the um, late 1800s that um, dead people were also portraited. And sometimes dead people were portraited because there wasn't any picture of them when they were living. So that was the final, final, final um, stage that, okay, we now need... Now is the last chance. Last chance <laughs> be yeah. before it rotten. So Luckily so. today it's different. We have lots of portraits of us. Yeah, Over more more than more and than we can bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, how does how the how the what do we? So what what's behind this picture and this whole Atelier Ohapala project and what did we do during the almost eight years? Um, maybe we will just show you at first. So. Um, we went to a lot of events and photographed a lot of people, thousands of people. And um, basically we made like a thousand portraits a year. So that's kind of a good amount. So during this almost eight years we did something like 7,000 something portraits. Um, we went to different events, um, different um, style of events, theme, different themed events, and uh, set up our uh, Victorian style, we call it Neo-Victorian, um, photo booth, and, and took pictures of people, visitors, audience. And we went to, for example, vintage events like these, different vintage markets and vintage events that were uh, organized at museums, for example. Um, we went to burlesque parties a lot. Like, yeah, a lot of burlesque parties, actually. <laughs> yeah. I think half of the pictures we made in these photo booths, they are made in burlesque parties. But anyway, we did, did it even in family-oriented family Events different too. kinds of events. So not, not only burlesque, but uh, a lot of our portraits are in the burlesque scene. 
Yeah, because it's it's very um, delicious. Yeah, people have different roles, and I mean both both uh, performers and the audience. They they like to dress up. And also, all over, like this is in Stockholm. Um, these organizers had it in in the old opera house, uh, this Oscarsbald, which which is referring to King Oscar and and the ruler, but. Anyway, they yeah, had a historical ball. They had a dance ball there. We went there like twice. Yeah. We went to also uh, other kinds of dance events like Tango Festival and um, Lindy Hop Festival. And uh, we did a lot of collaboration with museums all over Finland. And um, we went to theme parties, we went to Halloween parties, um, 1920s style parties, a lot of different theme parties. Uh, Twin Peaks <laughs> themed <laughs> party, for example. This is, this is maybe the least Victorian style <laughs> that we have. But um, the idea of like a backdrop and, and posing in front of a backdrop, it's kind of Victorian linked. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess um, we could tell how this all um, event photography and, and neo-Victorian portraiture began. And, well, why do we call it neo-Victorian? Um, the, the whole uh, like concept is set in kind of late 19th century, turn of the century, which was uh, generally globally known as the Victorian era because Queen Victoria was reigning England. Um, and neo-Victorian, because it's not really like exactly Victorian that we are trying to make. It's not uh, like a copy of Victorian images. Um, we are not trying to make exactly vintage truly authentic looking pictures, but we want to bring our own uh, fantasy to the pictures and to the whole project. And this whole thing began so that when we met like eight, eight years, we actually met, the project started closely to, to the moment we met together with mm. Sara. And Sara was working in the Museum of Antiquities in, in Helsinki and- Museo Virasto. Yeah. yeah, and she was um, going through a lot of uh, like these old portraits and pictures, and and thought about the presented the idea to me that okay, why should we should we do something fun, funny, and different, and and mm. like um, because the portraits that I went through, I was actually working as a retro photographer, not ret retro, but retro. So I was digitizing the material that they had in the archives. And I went through a lot of old portraits, and and what really, <coughs> what really um, inspired me was that um, they all look so beautiful, and people in these old portraits are somehow they look really like dignified and and just somehow somehow serious, but but like um, very kind of content and and. Just generally, really like like beautiful, amazing. And so, so there was this because this whole project started kind of um, accidentally. There was this one party we decided designed all the things we are going to do <laughs> for just for one night. And it was an alternative party, like a com <coughs> computer nerd event, and they had a steampunk team. Mm. So we just. <coughs> <coughs> created this thing that okay, let's go and make this hand painted background backdrop, mm. make a camera. Uh, we also created our characters mm. like these guys. And we knew that there would be people uh, dressed up in these steampunk Victorian style costumes. So, what we really wanted to do is to document the people in the costumes, but then we we kind of we, we wanted to build this whole thing around it like hey let's do it properly like let's have this 
backdrop and and yeah, Marco built this uh, wooden Victorian style camera and um, although it used digital technique because we put the digital camera inside <laughs> but no one could see it and then he had the hood and he went <laughs> under it and that was a clever trick. <laughs> like a real perform <coughs> performance art. Yeah and, and we created these characters because we thought like hey we also have to be steampunk or like Victorian style so uh, here you can see our characters in Egypt. Um, anyway we we did this all for this one event and um, we had names <coughs> and uh, history for this character. So my character is um, or was Mrs. Ohabala and, and the project name comes from that. Because uh, in our story she was the owner of the photo studio and uh, Marco's character Mr. Schweinstein <laughs> who comes from Germany <laughs> Um, he was uh, Mrs. Harpala's distant cousin and Mrs. Harpala uh, needed some assistance in this uh, running a photo studio so, so her cousin came to help and so they started working together. But in real life we are a married couple so it's like uh, we have the fiction part and then we have the, the real life part. Um, and about these characters, after we, after we did this one, one event, um, we hadn't planned it uh, more, but then people started to ask us uh, where will we be next time taking these photos, and so we kind of had to continue it. And then we continued it and did a lot of portraits during the next year, and, but we also uh, wanted to kind of make our character's story a bit deeper, just to bring a bit more to the whole whole project and the whole whole photo studio, the the story of our characters. Yeah, um, these we call this series um, the adventures, and <coughs> the adventure series was created for for. There, be, there was a question. Museums wanted us to have exhibitions, so we started a new series about these characters. Mm. And so, yeah, actually, I guess we could show yeah, some of show. these slides. So here we are doing some uh, archaeology, in Victorian style archaeology, which is practically tomb tomb robbery. What what it was. Uh, so we went to Egypt and uh, did this photo and um, our characters have found some cat mummies and they have a shovel. <laughs> Victorian style. Uh -huh. Next slide. Next. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hey. Costa. I don't know what's happening. Sitä pitää klikata sitä kuvaa. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this is the fun. <laughs> oh, then I. Huh? Okay, that's it. <laughs> and then our characters went to hunt some polar bears, which was like hunting big beasts was very heroic and it was okay those times. And there actually you can see the camera I built. <laughs> yeah, it's they took it with them. Yeah. So, hunting polar bears, not so cool today. Um, they went to the Highlands in Scotland. We actually went to Highlands and did this photo there. <coughs> uh, they spent some time in the brothels. And they went to see a lecture about female hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> and this actually, this picture is based on a, on a, a painting from 1870 something. A French painter, can't remember his name now, but um, there is a link on our website under this picture to that. Uh, this is like a remake of that. So these hysterical, like 
hysteria lectures where actually uh, they existed. There was a there's a doctor and his patient, hysterical woman, and there is a uh, audience which is mostly, well, almost all of them actually, men. Yeah. Uh, there's also my character disguised as a man because it was not really a proper place mm -hmm. for women to go and see yeah. female history. Yeah, all of the, this series is also like, there's like this. Um, they m might, might, might fi find them funny, but the real reason for making these images was like, they were commenting also the, also the situation we find all over, all the history, history kind of repeats itself or we have ref reflections about the history to nowadays. Okay, there's like env environmental issues, the issues with mm. um, um, the equal equality and issues about um, like third world, right? Mm. Yeah. But anyway, then where do we continue? I guess this is about, yeah, this is enough for the adventures. So this was like, it was another part of our project. There were the uh, event photos and then there was this whole uh, story of our characters and what did they do and how, how was the world hundred or hundred and fifty years ago and and this we call it the adventures series and this was about that um, we also did a lot of portraits in the studio <laughs> so at some point we started to make family portraits and like just whatever portraits because people were asking like hey we want to have our wedding photo in your style and, and uh, so we kind of ended up being also a portrait studio. It started as a event photography uh, mixed with documentary and performance and, and then there was this fiction part and then uh, this project turned into this photo studio. Um, and we did all kinds of portraits. Yeah, so we um. actually had like three lines we were making simultaneously, like these, mm. the, the ones you were talking about. But, um, but they're all connected to each other yeah. uh, with this kind of our fictional, fictional uh, Victorian style, which is sometimes it's colorful, sometimes it's black and white, sometimes it's betwe in between. Yeah, and we always uh, had these uh, 19th century and turn of the century portraits as a reference, but uh, we usually we didn't want to make uh, make them look exactly like like old. Like we we are not trying to um, make people believe necessarily that they are old, but. I mean, it, it's okay if someone had a wa wristwatch or like something that tells about the modern world. Sometimes the people who came to have their portrait taken, they they wanted to look totally vintage, and and usually they they had their hair made somewhere in a hair salon, and and they had rented some clothes, or or they they maybe they were collecting some vintage clothes, and and they came came there dressed up in vintage clothes but it wasn't necessary because it's uh, it was um, the portraits that we made were not only about uh, being black and white and not only about having vintage clothes or or vintage hairstyle it was um, a lot about posing it was a combination of many things. It was, of course, uh, posing, uh, light. Um, of course, the clothes and makeup have a, have a role also. 
uh, and post-production mm. because everything we did was digital. So this is like ge three generations. There's a grandfather and a son and a mm. son. son. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, it's um, uh, not only how the pictures look and, and uh, how they are made, of what, which elements, but also the whole, <coughs> whole story that we had behind it. Um, when we were photographing at events, we were always dressed up as our characters, Mrs. Harpala and Mr. Schweinstein. <coughs> but when we were at studio, we were ourselves because it was not like, a, it didn't have to be a performance. No, it's, it's more about being present and being, being able to, to communicate with the persons you, have, you are having this photo session with. Uh, that's the, I think we learned, learned something about communication with the people when we did, did it as a mass, mass production on these, these events. So. Yeah. In those one, those situations, the thing is, it's very fast fast forward. We take maybe ten ten shots per 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 picture, and then then the next one. It's r really like yeah, it was like forward. next next next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in the studio we spend time. We talk yeah. uh, talk quite much. We can correspond in advance. Mm. That okay, what 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 are we going to do? And maybe mm. there's a Victorian joker. But the in the both res end result may, m might be. But in both cases, uh, the the most important thing thing was to connect with the person who is who is being photographed. Uh, and even though in events we might have like one minute time, um, but uh, we we still it was very important to connect like. Um, like, hey, welcome here, and, and okay, we have only one minute, but let's make it like a uh, good minute. So, so even if the person was the 50th person that night, um, we just had to treat the person like they were their first customer of the night. So it was very intense. Um, and the studio portraiture, uh, of course, yeah, slower pr pace. But also, also the the great part was just being present in the in the that situation, that moment, and connecting with the model. And and when you have the connection, then you then you notice that hey, now we got the good picture. There's, it's difficult to actually say what it is that that makes the good picture like it's it's not about person being uh, beautiful or or having amazing hairstyle or or something it's more about the connection hmm. and um, yeah we we talked about burlesque earlier we went uh, to a lot of burlesque festivals burlesque events and, and we shot a lot of burlesque performers in the studio as well. Finnish performers and uh, international performers when they came to Finland to perform. And here's uh, one of them. She's called Lada, Lada Red Star. And um, at the moment we have now only one burlesque portrait in this slideshow. But you can go to our website and there are more if you want to see. Um, and boudoir pictures. So, um, yeah, boudoir photography, it's, it's kind of fashionable now. Um, but we wanted to make it our own style, in the old style. So this actually it goes a bit beyond the Victorian. This doesn't really look Victorian anymore. This is more like a painting, an old painting. So we took our inspiration from the like classical paintings as well. 
And this is also one thing that when we were working, to working together, so like this, this is, uh, she's not a performer, she is just uh, like a regular person. <laughs> uh, but like when we work together, so <coughs> in these situations, um, it's kind of easier when we are like two, two and we are a couple, there's like no tensions uh, like in, in, I think it's easier for the customers. But that I think we got good results because uh, the when we were working the together, the situation was easy for the models in a way. It's it's for us. It's it's really casual. We can like talk whatever on whatever mm. things. And we have four eyes. Yeah. Instead of two, so you know, um, usually it went so that. Marco, Marco operated the camera, and I was uh, giving directions to the models. And also fixing the small details, so running and. If, you, yeah. for example, if you didn't notice something, then I was like, "Hey, there's uh, like a wrinkle in the fabric in the wrong place, or, or whatever, or the hair is going a bit mm. wrong way, or anything." So it was very, very handy to work together. Yeah, because w one thing which is really important when taking pictures is, gi is giving guidance to the models and that w that is something we actually learned really mm. really well on this project and always in a positive way so yeah. uh, instead of saying uh, don't do that like yeah, don't put your arm like that that's a total no 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 never say that <laughs> uh, instead of that uh, say that um, put your hand there okay you could put your hand there and uh, you could actually look this way and it would be better if you do this Never say don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> but of course you you can you know you can use this advice in anything you do. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, because then then there's like okay there's something wrong with me. Yes. You you, you always you want to keep the situation <coughs> nice. Yeah, then you yeah. have lost it if you if you yeah. do. It. Um. So yeah. Do we have more? We have the, I think that's the last, ah, last picture. Okay. Uh, this is the last picture. Yeah. So this is from a movie called The Happiest Day in the Life of Olli Mäki. It's a Finnish movie by Juho Kuosmanen. And uh, we were part of it. Um, we were asked to do some um, photographs, like 60s style, 1960s style photographs. Uh, and we ended up actually acting in the movie a bit. So Marco was acting a photographer, surprise, and I was acting his assistant. <laughs> so so uh, we basically do a cameo role in the, in the, in the movie of the same yeah. thing we have done during this eight years. So it's yeah. really, it was a nice wrap up for, for, for the thing. That it's, it's okay, it's, it's on film too. Yeah, and, <laughs> and this, is, uh, this photograph appears in the film. Um, so yeah, we, we ended up doing stuff like this. We have also done some photographs for other movies as well. Um, and um, we ended up doing some band photos for musicians and we directed one music video uh, and yeah, just lot, lots of stuff. And it all started from this, hey, let's do something fun. Like, <laughs> let's do some cool old portraits. Yeah, for one weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's have these characters. <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, behind these portraits, um, it's actually like a whole world. So it's not it's not just the surface. There's a lot of behind it. A lot of things. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>